here multiple times this season. This team showed resiliency in coming back from multiple goal deficits, two nothing, I mean two goal, three goal, what have you. I guess <coughs> did, how much of that experience do you feel like your team played off of in this situation down two nothing entering the third period? Yeah. I I think that does give you confidence to know that you've done it before. Once you do something, you can say, hey, we've done that before. And um, we have fought back. I, I think our guys, you know, they don't, they don't have a confidence issue when it comes to scoring goals. If they were down two goals going into a third period, I think that they think that they could score two or two to tie it or three to win it. And um, it doesn't always work out. It's difficult to do. Well, that's a big deficit to come back from. You need, you need big saves from your goaltender along the way just because you're pressing, and we certainly got that in the third, which allowed us to stay alive. That line, the, your top line, was particularly in that first period, was just creating opportunity after yeah. opportunity. Did you feel that, though, at some point that they were going to get that get that break like Phillip had twice in the third period? Yeah, I mean, you got to give Crawford some credit. He played really well, and played well tonight, but he played well in the first period, and I thought our guys were really pressing. We had lots of looks, lots of opportunities in zone time, and... Um, you know, it didn't go our way. The second went their way, but I thought that I thought that the Johansson line was was strong. They had a couple of shifts throughout the course of the game where they were able to pin them in, stay in there, and generate lots of shots, lots of attempts, zone time, uh, and scoring chances. Kevin had that really good opportunity in overtime. Nice to see him go right yeah. back at it. I think it's yeah. you know, the next one's going in. Is that the mentality you're, you're looking for? At, at yeah, I mean, that's good for him. He's a young kid, you know, and he's in a big situation like that. And um, I thought he handled it well tonight. I think you, know, you talk about experiences that you grow from and learn from, whether they're coming back in the third period or a young player like Kevin. And um, I thought that, you know, he, he played a really good game tonight. And... Um, he had lots of looks and lots of opportunities. Even in the first period, he had a couple of quick quick hand plays where he got a good shot off on net. Some of his best chances came in overtime. And uh, and then he finally, the, I mean, the last goal was a really patient goal to, to wait it out like that. And um, it, was, it was nice to see him do that. Can a goal like that, of course, it's a big goal regardless, but can a goal like that mean something more to a young player like Kevin? Well, I think, again, it probably goes to confidence more than anything else. You know, he's a young kid playing in a man's league and um, a really good league at that. So I think young players, when they come in, they can grab experiences like that and, you know, try to try to take that and harness it and move forward with it. Talk about this place feeding your team yeah. with energy. What about tonight? Well, there, it was a 10. It was a 10. I'm not sure there's another place like it. Am I right? It's, I'm not sure there's another place like it. Coach, they had a breakaway early in the third period where you guys were still trailing 2 nothing. Pekka was able to make the save. Yeah. Can you put into words what kind of effort he's brought to you guys this series? He's, been, this he's been rock solid. I mean, we went to the box. We, we ended up in the box too much in the second period. It just took the flow out of everything, to be honest with you. And then we got out of sync a little bit because we're chasing a lead. And um, along, like I said, along the way, when you're chasing a lead, you're, you're definitely more vulnerable. You're trying to send people in the attack, and you're trying to get your D more involved, and you're trying to push the guys towards the offensive zone and not the defensive zone, and something like that can happen where somebody springs for a breakaway. And um, at the time, that was probably the most critical point of the game, at 2 nothing and a breakaway coming in on us. It doesn't seem it because, you know, we end up scoring two two goals um, after that we get to overtime and it's a big win but if you want to know where the game kind of clicked for us into our favor was that save right there by Pekka right before he, right before he scored he had had two great chances Crawford made that toe save Who, on one uh, Kevin Fiala yeah <laughs> really and, good yeah and the other one was high and both times he showed a lot of emotion he grabbed his head once the second time he threw his head back when he comes back to the bench does anybody have to say anything encourage him when that's kind of happening cuz obviously you don't want somebody to kind of lose their way because they're No getting... no I don't I don't think he's like this this kid loves hockey you know he wants to play and um, I don't think that that was an issue um, you know, we did ch chat this morning just about him being more involved and heavier in the game. And um, I thought he did that. But the offensive chances that he got, um, I think he looks for those. I think all offensive players and great, great players, skilled players, they look for offensive chances. He was looking for those tonight. And he had, he had some of the best looks of the game. 
about how that sometimes top lines can kind of cancel one another out. But what's it say about your top line here? I think 11 or 12 points in the in the first three games here. What's it say about how well they're? Yeah, they've going? been they've been really good. Um, you know, in the first game, I don't think they were quite on point, and we had we had time to have conversations between game one and two. Um, but in game two, I thought they were excellent. Tonight, I thought they were excellent. They, you know, they pulled our team in the right direction. Coach, when you were down two in the second period, what was the message to the to the team? Was it kind of just stick to your game plan and and things will kind of click eventually? I th I, th I think again, just going in there with the confidence that we can we can be successful. Our guys are. are I don't think that they're uncomfortable in that situation. It's not a situation that you want to be in. But